Hey guys, my name's Shan. I make a new video every Friday, so please make sure you click that subscribe button down below. Make sure to give this video a like as well, and you can find out other details about me uh, by watching the video. Hello guys, welcome to this week's video. As you can see, it's Christmas finally. And I thought after seeing an interesting Evan Edinger video last week, and it's been something that I've had planned for a while, I would discuss why reading is so important and some of the things that I've been reading in the last year and some plans of things that I am going to read. Basically, until the start of 2016, I was a person that didn't really read a lot. 2016, 2017 I should say. And the thing that changed that was happened to be university. So that's got me to read a lot more than I used to. It's got me to read a lot more in my pleasure. And I found it something really beneficial and something I've really taken up and really started to enjoy this year. First, what I'm going to do is I'm going to talk oh, hello, about what I have been reading this year. And of course, to do that in the British way, or the most British way possible, I've got a nice cup of tea. The first thing I'm going to mention about reading, what I've been reading for pleasure, is this book here, and this is called Judges. It's by David Panic, and basically it talks about the different roles of judges in the court and the other things that judges have done. So another thing I've read this year has been travel books, and this one here is one for Ireland that I got for when I went to Dublin. It's one I got new, actually. And travel books are important. It's a different type of reading because you're reading about a place that you're going to and actually a lot of the time things that you want to read are quite small. They're either in like little boxes like that or it's like they've got sites here which, let's be honest, is about a page. because You've got maps and things. It's a different type of reading. Interesting pleasure reading because you're reading about something that you're going to be interested in but yeah two books that I read together this year and this was actually to do with my course really but I did it as a bit of extra reading on top are The Beginner's Guide to American Politics and The Contours of American Politics doing this together because they are both by the same author who happens to be a lecturer or was a lecturer at Swansea University. I read this one when I came back from Amsterdam on the coach and this one because my course last year was called The Contours of American Politics was something I read. Like I say this one was given to me. This one's a bit more of a basic guide but it helped me a bit actually last year because it was simple enough to get the basics. Another thing I completely forgot I'd read last year actually until I came to make this video or this year I should say, because I read this in the summer, is Tried by War, and it, this is about Abraham Lincoln. And if you don't know anything about Abraham Lincoln, he was the only president who has served during wartime. And what I mean by that is that he'd never actually served in peace, and he served in the American Civil War. Uh, another book that I read, actually, that isn't, but it's law based and I haven't talked about it but it is again a pleasure reading is Peter Leyland's Const The UK Constitution that was a very interesting book especially if you're into things currently like in the news about Brexit and then if you're into things like the Welsh and Scottish governments that was very good for that and it talks about how like things happen in the UK in regards to constitutional stuff because you might not be aware we don't have a constitution in the UK very interesting read that was. Uh, I haven't got it with me because it's back in Swansea at the moment, but I've, what I've done, I've found a cover, I think of Bloomsbury. So I'm going to put that there, as you can see, uh, the rest of these books. And definitely recommend reading it, but that's something else I read. And I read that over the summer before I went to Legal Wales. And a completely different pleasure read that I'm going to talk about now is something else that I've read this year, and it's very short, and unlike the rest, it's actually The Lady in the Van. It's Alan Bennett's uh, book, and it's really good. If you haven't seen the film, I recommend, this is the cover of the film as well, I uh, recommend watching the film and reading the book. Current reading and what I want to get 
done by the end of the year, you've probably already seen it if you've watched last week's video, is the Supreme Court and Essential History, uh, which is Peter Charles Hoffer, William James Hull Hoffer, and N.E.H. Hull. Uh, this book is University of Kansas Press, it's what I picked up when I went to the Supreme Court, I'm currently reading it just for general reading because I'm really in, into the US Supreme Court, and currently I am on the Hughes Court, which is 1930 to 1941. And I'm currently reading about the incorporation of the Bill of Rights, including cases like Stromberg in California in 1931. Uh, very interesting read. If you're interested in the Supreme Court, this is probably, if you're not an acad if you're not academically minded, this is probably the better book to read. Definitely recommend getting this. However, it is quite expensive. So what I've done there is I've talked about what I have read this year. And what I think would be important now to do is talk about what, why reading is something I found important and what skills and things I've gained from it. Reading, especially over the last year, has been a way of me relaxing. Uh, university is heavy going, especially, like I say, doing a law course, it's very heavy going sometimes. And it's nice to take your mind away from what you're having to read about. So yes, you can see a lot of that has been law based, but has been on subjects completely different to what I've been studying. It's like the constitution book. I did my constitutional law, but I've done that now, it, you know, it's all done. I did very well in it, by the way, uh, but I haven't, I weren't reading that while I was doing constitutional law at university. It's like I'm doing the Supreme Court now and I'm not doing about that in American studies, I'm doing about New York. It's completely, it's because it's so different, it's nice to relax with it. And I think relaxing through reading is something that's very important because you can take your mind into a different world if it's fiction or into a different thought process. Reading has also been very educational and it develops your critical thinking skills. So that's again, something I've developed from reading things like the Supreme Court. And it can be educational in different ways, like especially nonfiction. So the, I the Island book, for instance, that was very God for educating me on some of the things before I went to Dublin so that when I did the tours and things I could understand a bit more and I had a bit of a better idea what was going on. Uh, the critical thinking side of it, uh, the Supreme Court has been very good for that and so has the judges book been very good for that and another thing that's developed as well has been my vocabulary. Uh, probably can't even say that right but I've noticed, especially with my exams and my coursework, I'm using better terms than I used to. I mean, I don't do it everywhere and there's still a lot that needs to be changed with the way I speak and the way I portray myself when I write, but I'm using things much more naturally like prima facie. So before this becomes a video that's way too long for me to actually edit, I'm going to talk about some of my plans for my reading for the next year or the next couple of months. This is the big book that I want to read next and this is A History of the Supreme Court. I've been waiting to read this for a while and as you probably know this book took ages to get here. I haven't got around to it yet, I do want to get around to it. So it's going to be an interesting read and yeah that's what I want to read next. As you can imagine sometimes get fed up with the law and American studies when it comes to that type of reading, you'll be surprised. And if there's anything or two things that I want to read as well, it's these here, which are The Comet and The Airbus A380. They're both by Graham M. Simmons, that's why I've put them together. And I just want something that's factual, it's interesting, that's something I'm going to like, but it's not related to what I'm having to study. Now, if you want to go and do some light reading, maybe you're not into reading as such, uh, one thing I would recommend, and it's something I've done for a while, I read magazines. 
So this is the airliner world and this is rail. Yeah, it's something I do if I want to relax. Maybe you want a 10 minute or five minute quick read of something. Very useful to do. Get yourself a magazine. I enjoy it. I get myself rail every two weeks and airliner every, airliner world every month because that's when they come out. Just give you just gives you again something to relax to, something a bit different, and you can do that bit of reading that you might want to get in and not have to worry about reading a novel. Anyway, I hope you have enjoyed this video. I know it's been long. I know I've talked about a lot of stuff that maybe you might not understand unless you're in a world similar to me, but I hope you've got something out of it. And this is why I think reading is so important. And also I think that following my videos is something very important if you want to keep up with ideas like this. So I'm going to really ask you please to subscribe. It really does help. There's a subscribe button down below there's also a like button, make sure you press that if you have enjoyed this week's video. As always, my Twitter and Snapchat are right on the tree now, so please make sure you follow me on them if you want to see what I get up to in my life, that way you can uh, see basically what I'm reading, what I'm doing, and that way you get an idea of actually why I read, the things that I do and things, and remember to click that bell notification button because I've just forgotten about it and to be notified when I upload a new video. As always, my last week's video is at the end. Uh, that video is about me coming back home. Uh, there is also a recommended video for you, so make sure you check the end out. Anything else? Not really. I wish you a Merry Christmas. I'll see you all next Friday. Goodbye for now. Why don't you click subscribe? Make sure you check out last week's video. Why not follow me on Twitter or Snapchat?